everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to another run of Hadean Tactics. So an epic card, remove two cards from the deck, draft a level one unit, or nothing. Ooh, I'm gonna go for the remove. Reason being, cards in my deck are probably the most damaging, most inconvenient thing I got. So, whenever an ally kills an enemy, gains 15. I think I might want to go with this. Whenever an ally gains a shield, also gains 15 might. Just pretty basic, pretty tanky. And go from there. Relentless. Because it's 95 shield for every enemy affected by Groundbreaker. I feel like that could get really nutty. Really fast. Alright. So what are we looking at? This is decent. This is risky but good. Okay. I'm not kidding when I say this is risky but good. We also have... Another option, which is go here, run a very long, very aggressive mystery machine into a shop pair of campfires. Maybe less relics, but maybe less risk. This is a little bit more risk. That's three relics, though. Let's go this way. Let's, uh, mm. Because technically we could do four mid-bosses, but I feel like that actually could kill me. It'd be fascinating to try, but I don't think I'm ready for that. So let's go this way. I got Tank Boy, which should make this a little easier. And yeah, if I can pick up the Gargoyle, I'm going to be a happy camper. And due to everything, probably want to just play somewhat carefully. Oh, that double speed is good stuff. Alright, he's about to get his A we more or less doing it. Okay, let's just bring him back. See if I can specifically get them to focus on my champ. There we go. That way I only have to shield one thing at a time. And it gives him an amount of might. Not huge amounts. What an amount. Okay. Just give that fracture. Probably should have actually done it to this thing. Because there's no real benefit. To get it. Uh, there's no benefit to getting a kill in this. At least as it currently is. Okay. Get a card. Oh, Illusion. Creates a clone of an ally. What's the upgraded version? Clone of any non-boss unit. Still good, though. Especially if we can get that gargoyle. Okay. Let's move this back here. Then shield him up. There we go. Just being able to create clones of my champion is nothing short of incredibly useful, frankly. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do too much more. Because, yeah, he's got enough HP that the, the, the general drain from just being a clone isn't a big deal. Yeah, this is... This has got... This has got some potential. An illusionist build. I mean, we we kind of got into that last time. Where are you going? All right, you're still going for him. Uh, we got into that a little bit last time with the, the souped out gargoyle nonsense. And I want to get further with it. Obviously, the lower level clones aren't as worthwhile, but that's fine. Karma. 75 damage. Put a copy of this card on top of your draw pile. Spooky. Remove all might of all units, deal damage equal to the value removed to all enemies. This would certainly be interesting. Not really useful for me. Not on this run, though. Okay. Whenever a talent card is played, two Gorgon gaze cards to your hand. I mean, why not? There's almost no downside to that one. Okay. I'm going to move these guys over here. Shield him. We'll do a fracture. Because the goblin... Oh. Dang. Let's 
do spikes and shield first. And might. And then we clone. Can I move this guy? No. But yeah, he gets to keep the might. They always kind of want to clone last. Spikes and shield and shield again and clone again. Because they can just go, they can just go whammies on the goblin. There we go. Get him. I love this. This is such a potentially ridiculous move. Next attack deals three times damage. Flick silence. Nah. Keep it limited. Alright. And we need a new unit. So we got a couple. Mouseketeer. Allies have a 10% chance of attacking twice. One item will cost zero gold to the shop. That's absurd. I gotta go with that. There's, there's no way around that. Chameleon Milk. On pawn pickup, transform and upgrade two random cards in your deck. Sure. A strange, scaly man surrounded by countless multicolored lizards catches your eye. You approach him. Mr. Freshy, receive a visit from Miss, from Summoner. Mr. Freshy, honored. Let Mr. Freshy give something to help Summoner. Mr. Freshy shows you a bottle with holographic liquid inside. This here, a very special milk, Mr. Freshy guarantee. It feed Mr. Freshy's own children. Mr. Freshy points to the side. A reptilian woman waves at you with motherly warmth. Okay, so specifically... Oh yeah, let's swap this boyo in. I check my deck. These are the two that I'd hate to lose everything else I don't care about. Let's see what we get. Okay. Mm, we did lose the one that I didn't want to lose. However, I'll deal. Like, the illusion clone spell is pretty good. That said, empower is great, and cleave also pretty great. Okay. Few shields. Battle phase. We're going to empower and give him some shields. Okay. Got a couple. They're just kind of spreading their damage, aren't they? Go with that. Then a cleave. Then might. Because he's got spin attack. It's too late now, but it's fine. Okay, what do we have? Armor break and then just shield on that guy. I should have moved them back a little bit further. Spike all or haste. Each point increases the attack by 0.1. Attacks per second. I mean, haste might not actually be terrible. Let's go spikes for all. And do we upgrade it? Yes. All right. Mid boss one. It's snakes. Let's give him shield. Empower. Let's give him a bunch. Okay, so the splash, splash damage did do a decent amount. If you end your turn with this card, I'll let, okay, so I can't, I can't. I can't let them do that to me. This is gonna hurt a bit. That said, Spikes for all, and cleave. Okay. I have a choice on these. Um, I'm gonna actually send this over here. We actually have that AOE here. Ooh. Cleave, this, and a little bit of shields. We took some damage. Drain mana rune. Add a card to the deck. Taunt, eh. Armor break, eh. Nah. And Owl Talon. Whenever a spell card is played, deal 100 damage to a random enemy unit. Pretty good. Okay, we got a draft. These are tough. But I, I gotta. Okay, so the immediate problem here is we have a couple of dudes. Oh. There we go.
and I do not want my champion to die. Okay, let's actually put him in the back. Okay. It's a little worse than I was hoping. Spike all. Shield. Double his spikes. Okay. So far, so something. Give him splash. Might up. Okay. This shit hurts. No. I gotta guarantee he takes as little damage as possible. We got the ephemeral gargoyle. I was looking for him. And we get a unit banner. Ooh. This would be good, but we gotta go for the mana drink. Okay, so here's the question. Do we give him... Grifter Alliance is not bad. Gives him more DPS and more attack. Or... 3 haste for 3 seconds, 5 haste for 4 seconds. Oh, that's what spin attack does. I mean, that's good. I feel like as much as Grifter Alliance would be nice, having just one item cost 0 gold is probably just as good. And I'd rather have the stronger unit. Actually, no. I'm going to go with this one. Alright. We're going to heal. Because otherwise my champ dies. And we're going to want to go shopping. Alright. Spikes. More spikes for you. And we'll just give him the might. Alright. And of course they're hitting my, my champion here. It's fine. Uh, because we're gonna do shield on him, and power on him, and cleave just for a bunch of damage. Yeah, that was vaguely worth it. There we go. A lot of damage. Ace rune. Uh, let's see. Triple current spikes. Ally only. Really good. Kind of expensive. Still fits the build reasonably well. Brass goggles. Every time you play an artifice, draw a card. Good to know. Let's go here. What is free? Steel. Start of combat, all allies gain 50 shield. I'll take it. Found card is played, all allies gain 20 mana, which is pretty good. Whenever an enemy dies, gain 3 gold. So far actually pretty good. So Rainbow Quaddle. Uh, whenever it's damaged by a card, 10 decay. That's okay. I like Assassin's Contract. This early on, it's pretty good. Right, let's lose at least some of the might. That's good enough. Do we heal, or do we risk it for a card upgrade? I'm gonna upgrade Forks. I'm gonna risk it. These guys are tough, but I think I'll be okay. Ah, damn. Uh, that's fine. It's an assassin boss. Well, that's fun. Give him the energy drink. Honestly, we're just going to... I have to deal. Shoot. Power. We don't have more spikes, do we? Okay, so this boss is freaking spooky, actually. Okay, I have extra 
Triple current spikes. Well, can't do much more. There we go. I think I'm fine. Nope. Oh, I may not be fine. certainly hurts. <laughs> okay. Spike gain. Double it. Question mark? And shields. Okay. How do we want to do this? Probably fracture. Whew. That was down to the wire. But we got what we wanted, kind of. Gold, mana drain rune. Three seconds, gain shield when spikes is triggered, gain 15 spikes. As from current shield into spikes deplete. Nah, I gotta go spicate. Okay. Extra energy per turn. Nah, I want Raven Feather. I think I might want to go for one energy per turn. Just because. So pick a hero upgrade. Nah, let's go for party slot. I wanna upgrade my dudes, but having a couple of them is equally good, if not better. Right, let's take a look. Not the most primo I've ever seen. Because let me take a look. This would be a nice thing to upgrade just because. Uh, it doesn't actually say how much shield I get, but I'm assuming it gets really strong. That one's kind of good. I'm kind of drawn to this, but it's not great. Th um, what about this? It's all boring and bad. Oh, here we go. This. It's a bit twisty turny for it to really hit its potential. But yeah, let's go this way. All right, what do we grab? So we can upgrade his tanking ability. It doesn't really increase his HP, but does make him uh, generally tanky. Draconic Alliance, I mean... Actually, no. I might want to get this. So, every time an ally gains might, deal 15 damage to a random enemy. It's not huge. Actually, that's downright flimsy. That's not much. But it does give him the mana regen, the health, the DPS, the attacks per speed... Uh, attack speed? Yeah, let's go with this. And let's go left. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need a little bit of mana gain. Let's put this back. We have to go for the spikes, but honestly, I think we just lead with the mana drink. I go for the fell cleave. That might actually do more damage, but the more clones I can get out, the better. Yeah, these are downright boring. Let's just give him shields. Oh, he's about to pull off his nuke. I don't know if he managed it, though. It's fine. Uh, let's see. There we go. Too much more. Ooh, whatever this thing is went nuts. Let's just have it not be there. Thank you very much. Anything else? Give him a bit of shield, because he's still got a little bit. There we go. Oop. Anything good? Area shield. Yeah. I'm going to say no, actually. We don't have enough energy for it at the moment. And honestly, I have too many cards. Right. What is free? So we can steal this guy. Just a regular gargoyle is from the Draconic Alliance and Brute Alliance. Sure. What else do we have? Remove the might of all units. Eh. Beginning of every turn, a random ally gains shield. That's good. Upon pickup, choose a card in your deck. Add crucial. Drawn first at the start of combat. 
or start of each combat random ally gains mana I'm gonna go for the sleeper and we're gonna remove another card namely rook slide I don't use it okay you go here Oh, all allies. Oh, that's what it does. That actually makes it pretty good. Yeah, let's just do cleave. Okay. Seems like they're mostly all focused on him. Works in my favor. There we go. We have spicate, spicate. Yeah, we definitely need just a little bit more. Wow, they're downright dangerous when they want to be, though. Okay. Gain 125 health. Deplete. Whenever this this turn, whenever an ally takes unblocked damage by a card, it's healed instead. I'm gonna go for first aid. Just a little bit of healing goes a long way. I can draft a unit, but I think I want to upgrade. Specifically, make this guy maybe better. Okay, so what does this do? Two clones of itself, one clone of itself. Yeah, so maxing this sucker out is good stuff. Because we want to get up to Overseer 3. Okay, do we start with Forked? No. But we get Spike All and Cleave. Okay. Heal him. Stun a couple of suckers. Give him empower. And that. Now he splits. And now they suddenly just got a lot spookier. Yeah, I like that healing. That's gonna be good. Let's see. the next turn, draw one extra card and gain one energy. Wait, can I... Ooh. I might want to grab thinking ahead. It could be useless, though. And to the person that was mad at me for not picking this card, it's not actually that great. It's okay. Because they're, they're mad specifically because... You know, it triggers both both of these effects, but ultimately all it would do is, I mean, 30 might to somebody, and also 45 damage to a random enemy. Like it's okay, it's not bad, but I think I'm I think I'm just gonna skip. We want to keep our deck relatively light. Which bottle? Every time you draw a burden, all allies gain shields. That's not amazing. And what do we upgrade? So mana drink is pretty good. First aid. Oh. Makes it so it doesn't deplete. Shit, that's good. Okay. Let's do spikes and immediately give him starting mana. Okay. Spicate. More spikes. Or might. I don't think it was quite enough. It's fine. Okay. Who's he focused on? Who's he focused on? Perfect. Triple current spikes. I guess that's not as good as I was hoping it would be. That's fine. Do we cleave or do we empower? Nah. Or do we heal? Nah, let's just cleave. They can't handle it. Boss Picate. More spikes. There we go. Reasonably good. Tons of HP. Talent rune. I should probably use those. And, I mean, some of these might be okay. Transform current shield into spikes. Deplete. I can be good, but it's expensive. And you have to you have to really set that kind of thing up. Alright. And we want to level this guy up a third time. There's no way I'm not going for that. That makes him an absolute monster.
Okay. I really want to do forks, but we need just a little bit more juice. Ooh, them spikes go fast. Uh... I'm just going to give him splash for a couple of seconds. That's better. Holy shit, though. Damage. Do I lose? No. Okay. Uh, summon a gopher? What is this? That's not the worst idea. Let's grab it. I like summons. Seed of life. End of combat. All allies heal an additional 100 health. That's good stuff. Alright, so we gotta move him back. He's going to get shredded otherwise. Spicate. And some damage. Okay, give him some first aid. Pop that. Give him some spikes. Give him some might. That way all of the spawns share the same boost, I think. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Spikes for everybody who's getting wailed on. Looks like him. We'll just wait. These guys are dead. Ouch. Okay, Berserk. 30 might every second for the rest of the battle. Yeah. Berserk is way too good not to. Okay. Crits do 50% more damage. Damage rune. 250 to all out enemies. Ooh. Um. Guess I'll just sell it. Grab the damage rune. Alright. Set an ally's health to one. Obtain a relic. Yes. Ooh. That was my champ. That was actually bad. What relic did we even get? Fifth card play, draw a card. I'll take it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to spread the love here. Now this is Lilith again, who is a bit of a jerk. However, meditate, gain an energy, this turn, remaining energy will be carried over to the next turn, deplete. Well, I don't have much of a choice, but we can keep Gorgon gazing. Give him some shield. And we'll save the haste rune for the next round. Okay. We're going to give him berserk. Give him shield, because he's getting walloped. 29. And then pop the haste rune. Okay. So far, so something. Big damage. Bad damage. Okay, give him the juice and do another cleave. My best bet here is mostly just rely on the clone armada to just finish finish them off, which I think we're fine with. There we go. I mean, it, the cascade effect is ridiculous. Whew. I am absolutely flying near the sun. 150 damage to all allies, gain 3 energy, discard your cards. No. Nah, I'm gonna skip these. Alright, we want extra energy and... Do we want to go for a party slot or a hero upgrade? I'm going to go for the hero upgrade. We want him to live longer. So we can level this up. Which, as far as I can tell, does nothing. Well, no, it doesn't do nothing. It buffs this spell. 60 might for every enemy. However, I think I want Cherubic. We just need him to be in the way. He doesn't need to do a lot of damage. Okay, and what else can we get? I mean, probably this one. Just complete beef, nothing more. That's good. Uh, what are we looking at?
So we want to hit up both of these. So I guess we're just going to go this way. Shop that. Shop again. Unit banner. Camp. Here. Third shop. And we're good. I don't actually know if we're going to get what we're looking for. Or what I really want. But it seems worth it all the same. Okay, so nice part is I can summon a little bit more. Let's just empower him. Seeing as he's up at, up close and personal. Oh, those guys do hurt. They do be hurting, though. Okay, I think they're all focused. Except for you. He's getting pummeled. Little guy will heal faster. Okay, he's got 20 spikes. Let's do Spike All and then Berserk. Ow. And there's First Aid. It would have been nice to invest in. Ow! They did some damage to him. Like, there's Blood Card if I wanted to go that direction, but I think I'm going to skip. Now let's go shopping. What do we get for free? Steel. Sure. I'll hire another gargoyle. It's not great. Golden Warg. Light Preacher. Here. Oh. Is not. Is okay. When drafting the banner units will be one level higher. Would be nice. A little late for it. Could summon a flame wolf. It's a little expensive. Oh. But I want to get this. But the rest of combat spikes don't go down. I mean, just baseline. The sheer level of potential abuse that that presents is ridiculous. Okay. Chant him. Keep him in the back. And spicate. Okay. Pop those. I'd like to do spike all, but no dice. I'm just going to give him some shields so he doesn't get absolutely clumbered. Okay. Triple it, which isn't very good, but it's fine because what else am I going to do? Give him that. I mean, luckily, we're fine. Like, the absolute ridiculous propagating gargoyle swarm is kind of my favorite thing ever. Nah. Okay, what do we get out of this one? I'm going to draw a rune. A lot of summons. What else do we get? Creates an extra clone every third clone created. I mean... Two seconds, all damage dealt is converted into shield. Let's grab that, too. Uh, do we want to draft a unit or upgrade a unit? Let's upgrade Bunny. Uh, let's give it the health and the DPS. We just need a better Bunny. The Gargoyle isn't particularly encouraging, but it's also not particularly terrible. Shield or heal him up, 150. Stuns for everyone. Why not? Hello, fools. Okay, so this just got a little... Ouch. Give him that. Oh, we have no spikes. Give him a bit of shields. The knockback stun got kind of weird. And kind of bad. Alright, here we go. The spikes are going to start shredding them. That's all that I needed. Yeah, if I can actually scale the spikes early, uh, like earlier in a run, oh boy. I can't wait for that kind of shenaniganry. Do we summon a gopher? Nah. Let's just... Where is he? Either, holy shit, my... My gargoyles took some damage. How'd that even happen? 
Oh, maybe they had spikes. Yeah, that that's ouch. Oh well. Do we heal or do we just keep trucking on? Honestly, I think I'm probably fine. Let's keep trucking. Make that cheaper. We'll get our opportunities to heal. What is this one? During battle, golden scarabs might appear in the area. Ooh. Useful. Spicate. Transfusion. Keep distant. Fight me. That really is not actually that good, is it? You're not you're not a scarab, you're a pet slime. Well that's not. Alright, 135 spikes. Now that just turns him into a bit of a monster. And it's gone. Oh well. I do not know if there's anything I could have done there. Well, it's fine. We are ridiculous. Alright, skip these and relic. Health rune. Kinda nice actually. Oh. And a Martifist card, 100 might to the... Eh, let's sell that one. And we get the Lit Bomb. Okay. We don't need to go camping, right? Okay, upgrade a unit. Do we... Yeah, probably. We could try drafting, but it's not going to be a good one. Yeah, let's just get this guy up to level 3. Give him some extra HP. Dark Sacrifice. Oh. I mean... I have a lot of spares. Okay, so Red Bandana is pretty good. Spice Tea. Start combat, get extra energy. Yeah, these, sh these should be pretty decent. I don't want to do any more of this. Alright, what else do we have? I mean, he's free. Can I sell him? No. Okay. Well, there's another Berserk, if I want to go that direction. I'm going to start of combat. Whenever a non-ephemeral ally dies... Eh. Whenever an ally dies, it explodes. This is the last shop I'm going to. We go for the Musketeer. We could swap the golem out for the preacher, but it's too late. I don't think we're going to get another... It's okay. Otherwise, I could do the other option. Okay, that's a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Let's just go with uh, a fruit fairy. The second berserk might have actually been the better idea. Oh boy. All right, this is going to this 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 looks fun. Wait for the slimes to get a bit closer. Okay, let's give him the splash. Cuz that's probably my best bet here. Okay, boy, I wish I could hold on to first aid, but it's fine. Oh, well, I kind of can. Another spicate. And let's make him go berserk. Wow, that was probably really one of the fastest champ clears I've ever done. Uh, let's see, enchant, health rune. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, can I just use it? Because we want the spike rune. We're gonna get rid of the in uh let's get rid of the card draw. Add a card to the deck. Mm, no. And Eye of Mephisto. Feels like there aren't as many enemies here. This group actually might be worse. Across the board. Okay. Spikes do not go down. Do I want to give gain 25 spikes? Nah. We're gonna go with that. I think that's going to be better than Berserk. And we'll scale him up a bit. Oh, 
Pop that. Seems like they're all kind of wailing on him. There we go. That knockback stuff is kind of nonsense. Ooh, spike all or triple current spikes. No, I gotta go for that. My champion does 240 damage when you hit him. You literally cannot touch this. I mean, you can, but you're going to regret touching this. Let's skip those, and this time we're actually going to camp. I could upgrade a card, but that would be foolhardy. Hello. Okay. Give him the mana drink. Grab a random enchant card. That's good. I don't have any... Energy, do I? Nope. Damn. Okay, things just scaled weirdly out of control. Which is what I kind of love to see. I think they're all just kind of wailing on him. Let's give him a little bit more shield. Okay. And let's do let's do this. That should shred them in a beautiful way. What's my champ doing? Still hurt. Do these. Pop the cleave. And we're just going to give him the mana drink. We have more gargoyles now. And we didn't even get perma spikes here. And there it is. Took it long enough to show up. Which is unfortunate because now it's just boss time. Yeah, it didn't really get to bring it to bear, but it didn't really matter. Because the endlessly propagating gargoyle army, I... The problem is, I'm always just gonna pick it, because why the heck would I not? Bulk up, doubles current might. I mean, that's nice. Face smash, whenever a fracture is applied to an enemy, uh, the amount being applied is doubled. Oh, that's pretty good. But honestly, that run was pretty good. And you know what I'm looking forward to? A new character to play with. Hopefully we get a couple more characters to play with other than these two later on in development, but honestly, I'm just excited for the extra variety, and that was a really fun run. I want to do more of a summoning run in the future, but I just haven't had the opportunity to go all in. Or I did, I just didn't go for it. It's fine. 